one of the boys needed some help with their PC. I mean the poor guy couldn't even launch games. Valorant would just lag and crash with so many annoyances. It's about time we get him sorted out. So let's see what I can do for him today. This is his PC here, which needs a little bit of a cleanup, but it's not too shabby. He also has some upgrades to put in, a cool 1660 Super, and a new gold rated 550 watt Silverstone power supply. So just a graphics card and a power supply. Before anything though, I need to find out why his PC is so slow. Like it's a bit too much, even on boot times. It happens to be that his operating system is installed on his hard drive instead of his SSD. Now this is usually a pretty easy fix. You can try shrink the volume from the one terabyte hard drive to the smaller 500 gig SSD using something like Macrium Reflect. But I asked him if he needs any of his files and he literally just told me no, you can just reinstall Windows if you want. So I just double checked with him and made sure he grabbed some few files that he actually needed but it was mainly games on his PC, so we were pretty much all good to go. That makes it a lot easier to do the swap, but unfortunately I forgot to bring my Windows boot install on my USB, so we were just waiting for it to download. That's when I actually looked down at his keyboard, and I was like, bro, I can clean this out for you if you want. He mentioned as well his enter key wasn't working properly, and it was being held down if it was pressed, so let's see if we can sort that out. Not to worry, we got to work on this one, removing all of the keycaps, and then so soaking them in some warm water and soap. We washed them around to remove the dirt, which worked pretty well. This is what I usually do. Then I used some compressed air that he had, as well as some wet wipes to remove any other debris from the keyboard. The keycaps were attempted to be dried by a leaf blower and a towel, which worked okay, it's the first time I've tried that, but he dried most of them individually by hand, which was much appreciated. After we were done with this thing, it was looking brand new. The enter key was working again, and it was so clean. It happened to be that that was a bit of gunk stuck in the stabilizer of the enter key, which we managed to get out, so it's all looking pretty nice now. At this point, the Windows download was done, but the most important part right here was dusting out his PC. Now let me tell you, there was quite a bit of dust, so I pulled out the leaf blower that I brought with me, and we attempted to remove as much dust as possible from this PC, and there was definitely a decent amount, you can see it in the video right there. If you're doing this, try to hold any of the fans to minimize the risk of sending current back into the motherboard, or just disconnect the fans from the motherboard itself, and you should be good to go. The dusting was pretty fun using that leaf blower, I just got it recently, so this is the first time I'm using it, and the job was done perfectly. It took out most of the dust that I wouldn't have been able to get to myself. Using the wet wipes to clean up everywhere else that was missed, and especially on the fan blades of the rear exhaust fan was super important. Make sure you do clean the surface dust because that will not come up with compressed air or any type of air that's being blown on it. The next part was the CPU cooler. This is a stock Intel one and it was pretty caked up, so what I did is I took it out and I used the leaf blower again to blow out all of the excess dust on the heatsink and then wiped it down and with the fan blades as well. That was pretty easy, I'm pretty used to stuff like that, so that one wasn't too hard. The next one was the thermal paste, it really did need to be replaced, it was actually hard to remove, it was physically hard on the CPU cooler and the CPU, so that is something to keep in mind with your PCs, you do need to replace the thermal paste every few years, this one hadn't been replaced in a very long time. So I cleaned it off and then we got there eventually. I put quite a bit of thermal grizzly cryonauts, so hopefully he should be good to go for a while. Next, I put in the new 1660 Super, which is a huge upgrade over his previous GTX 1050. Next was that 550 watt power supply and I attempted to do some cable management, don't judge me please, and uh, for the PC we're basically done. So we got an upgrade of the 1660 Super, a new 550 watt power supply, the PC is fully dusted out, there's new thermal paste and the fans are clean, everything's clean, the keyboard is clean as well, so we're looking pretty good. Last was the Windows install, which I formatted both his hard drive and his SSD, and installed the operating system on the SSD. Installed drivers next, and made sure to turn on a restore point, turn on 144Hz, use Ninite to install all the programs that he wanted, and 
and we were finally done. One thing is that this PC can't use XMP as we are using DDR4 3200 on this board, but this board only supports DDR4 2100 I believe, so it will be clock lower, but that's all good, so he already knew that. And my boy over here is looking pretty happy with his PC. So it's all done, it's looking nice and clean with super quick load times. The PC is responsive and it's removed all of its dust. It has a huge difference in feeling from the hard drive to SSD. Most of the games he plays as well are eSport titles, so they're more dependent on the CPU. He plays games like League and Valorant, so this will be a fun experience instead of him lagging out all the time, especially on moving to that SSD. We might be looking at a CPU and motherboard upgrade in the future, but we'll wait for that one later on. Sometimes a simple, clean, and small upgrade is all you need to have a good experience. I'm glad it turned out really well and my bro is so grateful for his PC to be working again. Thank you bro for helping out and being the cameraman and for this awesome video as well. It's always fun for me to work on PCs so I'm always happy to help out. So that about sums it up. Thank you guys for watching this simplest style of video. I've got plenty more video ideas to come so stay tuned. Check out ystech.org for some more awesome content. But other than that, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!